Hello, this is Will and welcome back to my channel. The topic for today is let the recruiter be your advocate. And let me explain. I've been talking, I've, I'm not sure how many videos I have posted right now, but I'm getting a lot of comments like people can't believe that people actually don't want to listen. And the more that I'm getting those comments, the more in my one of my contracts I'm working on, I'm running into that on a daily basis. So I'm going to run down some numbers. I'm going to run into some other things. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the background of recruiting. So hopefully you'll listen a little bit more in general and let me be your advocate. Let me explain why. Number one, these are all pre-COVID numbers. With COVID, I'm going to say it's about tripled, but we don't have actual stats yet. So on average, every requisition, or let me go back. A requisition is where all of your information goes once you apply for a position. On the HR side, we call them RECs. So every rec is going to have on average 100 people apply that we can see. More than likely, there are more people apply. But if you don't put the right keywords, then you're going to go to does not qualify. So we'll never see you. You can look back to one of my earlier posts. So there are 100 candidates that the computer thinks is qualified that went directly into our requisition or our rec. I go through the rec. And this is what all recruiters do with a fine tooth comb. I go through, I look, do they have the right amount of years of experience? Do they have the right education? So forth and so on. I'm using the job description. I'm going to take those hundred people and narrow them down to 10. So if I call you, you're in the top five to 10% of people that actually applied for the position. Now the next step can go one of two ways. One way I can send those 10 recs to the hiring manager and ask who you would like me to speak with or I can get it down a little bit more to narrow it down to seven then I'll call all seven people I'll do a screen then I can go back and send the hiring manager three to five people to interview so I gave you all that information for this right here most if not all candidates are not perfectly set up for the position so if I call you, number one, you're in the top 5 to 10% of people who've applied on average. Next, when I say something like, hey, you might want to change this on your resume, or in your next round of interviews, focus on this, do not take that as a slight. My job is to send the best three to five people who've applied for that job. If I'm telling you these things, I'm trying to help you get this particular position. Even if you interview well and don't get the job, there are new positions that open up minimum weekly to monthly in every company. And you will be remembered. Funny thing is, we remember the really good interviews and we remember the terrible interviews. So trust me, you will be remembered. So now, in order for me to gain trust with my hiring manager, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that you are prepped and prepared. So please don't take that as I'm sliding you. I don't like this or I don't like that. I'm trying to enhance it because that gives me more credibility with my hiring manager. Keep in mind, I went through a hundred people to get to three to five people. I want those three to five people to be extremely prepared for the next round of interviews. If it's something that you're wearing, if it's your background, if it's your style of interviewing or something I want you to focus on or enhance that or switch something on your resume. I'm not saying a blanket statement of just do it, just change who you are. I'm not trying to change who you are because if I didn't like who you were, I would not have contacted you to begin with. So please just take everything. And OK, let, let me go back a little bit because I'm not saying all recruiters are like this, but a lot of recruiters that I know definitely want to help because it helps us out. I send you, you're an excellent candidate. The hiring manager has more faith in me. So don't get me wrong, this is not just for you, this is also to help me out, but it is hard sifting through 100 plus resumes to get down to three to five people and to find out the perfect candidate misspelled something on their resume or to find out the perfect candidate or the person I think would be the perfect candidate doesn't enhance the things that the hiring managers are looking for. Or you're in a situation where you have too much stuff behind you, it's too busy, 
or there's a bunch of different things that I can critique you on. But if I call you, trust me, top five to 10% of the people who've applied, I want you to get the job. Help me help you get this job. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And I will be doing some lives coming up here within the next six to eight weeks. So all the questions that you guys ask, we will be answering on the lives and we'll let you know when those are coming out. Subscribe, hit that like button. Always see you next time.